I collect and sell meteorites. And today I'm packaging up this guy to go to Arizona where someone's donating it to a first grade classroom so they can see it, hold it, touch it, feel the wonders of space. So I want to take you along that process, show you what it looks like selecting a stone for this purpose, getting it packed up and sent out. I really enjoy collecting meteorites for a lot of reasons, but most among those is education and teaching others about science and space and STEM through the lens of these cosmic visitors that we can kind of hold in our hands. And everything you see here are meteorites that I have bought that I usually intend to resell or donate. And the ones I resell, I generally take the profits from that and put those back into my own educational outreach, or I will take stones like these and get those into the hands of educators who can share those with their classrooms so that kids can actually hold and see and uh, feel a piece of space, which is something I think a lot of us thought wasn't really possible for a long time. So with all that in mind, my guy Kevin comes to me the other day and says he wants to take a meteorite and donate it to a classroom near his home in Arizona. And he asked for some specific characteristics, and I picked out these five stones as options for him. And they're all a little bit different. These are a little bit more rounded with some weathering cracks. This one's a little bit more angular. Um, this piece right here is a slice with some little metal webs in it. And this guy right here is the one that Kevin ended up choosing. And it's a little weathered on the back end. It's a fragment. But you see it actually has a little bit of fusion crust here where the meteorite uh, kind of burned up in our atmosphere. And there are even some little flow lines that are almost hard to see on the camera here, but they kind of indicate uh, the direction this thing flew. So it's a really, really neat stone. So this is the one we're going to pack up and send to Kevin in Arizona. Here's the image of those stones that I sent to Kevin so he could uh, choose the one he wanted. I've got stone E here on my scale. You see it's 132.10 grams. I'll take that information and put it on the certificate of authenticity that will come with the stone. I'll log that in a database I have that tracks all the information about it and where it went to so that that provenance is trackable and provable and can be referred back to should need be later. Our next step is to pack the stone up and I like to put a few little surprises in there for the kids as well. So let's do that. Okay, so I've got everything together here. We've got the meteorite. I've also thrown in a little gift for the classroom here. This is a piece of Libyan desert glass that was created from Meteorite Impact. Uh, certificates of authenticity. I've got a bunch of stickers here, a stand. I've even got a letter uh, telling the kids all about the meteorite. And of course, space rocks get a space box. And there's really only one more thing missing. Now the payload's ready to go, so let's pack it up. And we're ready to go. Let's get this sent off to the classroom in Arizona. All the way from outer space to Georgia, over to Arizona. Kevin, I hope the kids in the class love it. Space is about to be within their reach.